So now that we have everything set up, I'm actually just going to go through it one more time, um, just step by step, uh, and not really explain a whole lot, but at least just do it from starting a virtual environment all the way to actually creating a Django project. Um, so I'm going to hit uh, the start menu and X, start and X, open up command prompt. I'm going to change into where I want to save my project. In this case, I'm going to do desktop. And then I will do uh, a new virtual environment, so virtual env, and I will call it test underscore env. Press enter. Okay, now that we have that virtual environment, I'm going to change into it, test env, and then I'm going to activate it, so dot slash scripts, activate, and then I'm going to install Django, pip install Django, and I'll do version 1.6.5. All right, so now that Django is installed, we can act, we can actually start the Django project, and we do Python, and I'm going to do dot slash scripts slash Django dash admin dot py start project test underscore project underscore new press enter uh, something to note you might want to do django dash admin dot py start project uh, you could do that however you might run into version errors with the system version and your virtual environment version so to ensure that it's your virtual environment version use this up here Cool, so now we're gonna change into test underscore project underscore new. And I'm gonna do python manage.py sync database. So basically what's gonna happen is it's gonna create a SQLite database for me. It's gonna ask me if I want a super user. I say yes. I leave it, put a username in, put an email in, put a password in. I just put a password, a simple password. I did one, two, three. Notice that the password did not actually show up when you typed it out. And that's because um, uh, when they created the, uh, when you created the super user, the creators of Django made sure that the password would also be hidden. Um, but yeah, all right. So now that I have that, I can do python manage.py run server. So this is running my test server, of course. And I can go to that, that URL right there. So if I go to local, I'll see that I have my first Django Power page working. And if I go to admin, I can actually log in as jmitchell3. I already saved the password and all that. But now I can log into the admin too. Um, this is a great part that we'll be using a lot of. Um, so yeah, that is it. We created our first project and we did it from scratch. Um, and that's the process. So if you ever need to watch it over again, this is where you would go to rewatch what it is. And it's a nice little short video on how to do it. All right. So thank you very much. And we'll see you in the next one.